Good morning, Patriot Oaks. Happy Thursday, my friends. All right, please stand and join me for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, again, good morning, everybody. Thanks for waking up with me. You know, I was just thinking, now that it's light outside, maybe I could go outside and do the announcements from outside again, like I did during the fourth quarter. All right, so let's start off by big shout out to the football team. They won the K-8 championship game last night. Played awesome, so congratulations to those football players and to the cheerleaders. <clears throat> All right, my friends, let's look at our um, birthdays for today. It is November 5th, and in our elementary school, we want to wish a happy birthday to Gavin Combs and to Marish Shubreen. We hope you have a great day today. In middle school, we want to wish a happy birthday to Lila Antonelli and Andrew Tran. And we do have a teacher birthday today. So third graders, it's Mrs. Kasney's birthday today. So when you see her, be sure that you wish her a happy birthday. All right, my friends, some of you I'm going to see again this morning to finish up your iReady testing. We'll see you at 845 over in the blue lot at the cafeteria expansion. And also remember that this Saturday, this is when you're getting your pictures taken here, November 7th from 9 until 1030 in the morning. I'll send your parents an email today, but we're going to use the blue lot and the cameras are going to be set up in the cafeteria expansion. So anytime between 9 and 1030, you guys can come and get your pictures taken. All right, let's listen to our message for today. Most of us know the story of Helen Keller. As a little girl, she became blind and lost her hearing too. But despite this, she became a famous writer and a public speaker. Now I want you to listen to these words from a woman who spent her life never seeing the sunshine, yet bringing light to people around the globe. Mrs. Keller said this, keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see the shadow. So let's talk about that for a second. So if a shadow has dropped on your day, oh, maybe somebody made fun of you, or maybe your parent lost their job, or you failed an important test, I want you to take a minute and think about something that's positive and good in your life. Keep looking for the sunshine, and it will light the way to a better tomorrow. I like that message. I like looking for the sunshine. Let's do that today. All right, my friends, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. And I want you to start this Thursday off with me. Are you ready? Here we go. Go Chargers. Have a great day, guys.